All right, so we're just going to be pumping out the liquid H2, start doing another line of refilling. Since this layer is done, I am going to want to deconstruct these pipes. Same thing over here. And then also the insulated tiles as well. Might as well. Oh, wait, we can't. Because I need to stand on top of that in order to remove the pipes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll just do that for now. This is going to get removed too. We can't reach these, which is fine. And 254. It's pretty decent temperature. Could be a little bit colder, but we're not going too far out. So we should be fine. And we have a lot of insulated tiles in that area. Okay, so this side. Still adding in. Still trying to increase the amount of mass we have. What's your plan for these rockets? So we're doing something called beating the game by losing the game. So the last objective we want to do is called the Great Escape. And the Great Escape requires you to fly on a one-way mission to the further spot on the star map known as the Boral Tear. Now, we can't do that until we do job suitability, of course. And 0 out of 10 feels bad. Wishful thinking is down the drain. So... We got to do job suitability first. But once we do that, um, we're going to load up the rocket with the entire colony. Right? We're going to load up the rocket with the entire colony of duplicates. Once we're able to do that, we are going to be um, launching the rockets at the same time. So we beat the game uh, with every dupe going through the tear at the same time. When that happens, all the dupes technically leave the colony, and my population hits zero. So we get a pop-up that says, congratulations, you beat the game. And then immediately, you get a pop-up that says, colony lost. <laughs> so it's, it's a weird sequence of events. So we beat the game and lose the game at the exact same moment. And that was one of the objectives I had for the game. Beating the game by losing the game. Can we also take some critters like Noah's Ark? Uh, we technically could. Because we have the biological cargo bay. But. You cannot actually fill this up with a critter. Because the base game was not designed for you to transport anything away from your starting planetoid. Right? So... I can't fill something up to take to somewhere else and then unload in that area. The game was not designed for that. At least the base game wasn't. Alright, so we're good with this. Gotta cut the wire. Gotta refill this back up. And back to the H2. It'd be like that sometimes though, man. I can't say why. I just know that's how it is. All right, so this is good. We got to cut the hydrogen here as well. And then we're going to overflow to the other one for now, temporarily. And then we're going to try to liquefy all of this. Already at 254, that's good. And then the ones in the pipes right now. Nothing's breaking, I don't think. Yep, nothing's taking damage. 252 still in this area. That's not bad. We have a lot of leeway. The insulated tiles did help. Pretty good. We filled up this one, this one. I think we fill up this one, but not the other three. I have a lot of bubbles on the way, though. Alright, so then we're going to route this one once it's all at a low enough temp. So the gas is... It's grams. It might spread out and immediately liquefy. Milligrams. Once we get to micrograms, it should not have that happen anymore. Oh, we're getting some solids here. That's not cool. Yeah, 254, 254. I guess the solids are alright though, because we're lowering the temperature overall. Some of it is re-condensing back to gas, which is not good. I think it might be the solids exploding. Nah, probably not, right? I just wanted to have the 255 temp. Come on, man, let me stabilize. Why is this so tough? Oh, 
We're not adding anything in anymore. Gas line is empty. 255 is solid, though. We just need the gases to no longer flash. Aqua tuner stopped turning on. That's good. That means temperature is stable. Ah, we're still getting these explosions. You still see the gas liquefying in our face. These explosions, man. That's not what we need. All right, I think we're good. So from this point, we are going to cut this line. This, oh, this is the line we need to fill up. And we go here. If we want to, we could loop back around. If we have too much liquid hydrogen coming out. And it exploded again. Ah, every time, dude. Classic. Alright. I think we're good to pump, though. Alright, so this should pump to the right side. We should have a uh, good enough leeway. 255 is all we need. In order to pump nearby, right? So we do these two. If it's too much, we fill it up to the top one. Get that autosave lag, the classic. Alright, so... People of chat. I am gonna try something out right now. We're gonna reduce our overall population by a little bit. So we're gonna fill up the rocket with people that are not named. All the duplicates that were not taken feels bad. So we're doing this to reduce the population, this number. And then that should, in theory, reduce the requirements for job suitability. All the outcasts gets put into a cage. Nah, man, what do you mean? Th this is the strat, dude. They're doing their part. Like, come on, man. If you showed up to the group project and the leader of the group project told you, hey, Napolinis, we need you to do the cover page. And all you got to do is Google, Google image, put on some text, and that's it. We'll do the 10-page report ourselves. We just need you to do the cover page. Are you going to argue with them and be like, no, motherfucker, I want to be a part of the work. No, you're going to be like, hey, that's cool. I'm about to sit back and relax inside of my sightseeing module. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. If someone offered me that, I'm not going to say no. Hey, man. Sightseeing, you mean prison? Nah, nah. They, they're checking out the sights. They're checking out the sights, man. It's a nice little room. They get air conditioning, man. Dude, it's pretty nice in there, dude. They got a nice bed, air con, they got free food. They got that chicken noodle soup, dude, classic. How you say no to chicken noodle soup, dude? I'm just saying. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. It's for the greater good, it is. I'm not falling for your strats watching you. I better not be ending up in prison. Napolini's, man, you keep talking. We're going to make some exceptions out here, man. I'm just saying. Keep talking, man. See what happens. <laughs> Napolini's man I'm just saying it's, it's, it's gonna be a good time You might wanna visit You know what Napolini's Do you wanna visit We make some exceptions for you man If you really want But they can't exit. No, they can. They just got to finish their part first. And their part requires them to stay inside for an extended period. They could exit. And it's just, you know, they just want to do their part well. I can't fault them from trying to do their job really well. 
can't fault them for that. Can't fault them for that. Oh, look where look at who we're who we're at, man. It's Napolini's. I see you over there. Bring it. I don't like working on this planet anymore, anyways. What a guy. He's assigned, boys. Take him to the gulag. He didn't know, but we're sending his ass to get some data banks. It's time, boys. Napolini's, you got our data banks, man. We need you up there. <laughs> Getting some data banks. Now everyone is in the shower. Yeah, that's going to be the strat. We're down to 93. Let's wait for everyone to actually board their uh, sightseeing module first. Now everyone's in the shower. Yep, yep. Hopefully he's going to be okay, though. Population's going down. Got to do the job suitability with the jank strats. Oh, this should not be pumping. Oh, my hydrogen is done. Okay, now it's cold still. That's good. Uh, I have to reverse flow, right? I just have to keep going. And this should not lose temperature that fast. We should just be able to reach, and it should be fine. I've been promoted. New job, better perks, my own office. Nabellini was playing the long game. I think we got to kick him out, boys. He was just trying to uh, get his own penthouse suite. What a guy. And it worked. Guys. <laughs> Guys, we need to replace Nabellini's. Anyone in chat, man, we got you, Kappa. We'll leave Napolini's inside. We'll leave them inside. Alright, these ladders are unnecessary, but I, I just want to have them. To make sure everything's going to be good. All right, so now with that, we need to repipe this. We got to cut up this line. We got to allow the uh, hydrogen intake again. All right, so the hydrogen has left. This is at 638. So the upside is after we do these three rows, the top row is only 295. I could have three of these fill up as one of these fill up. So that's the upside. We're going to be almost done, actually. All right, now we're at 83 dupes. 3, 6, 8, 12, 14, 9... Wait, that's bad math. 3, 6, 8, 12, 16, 19, 23, 27, 30, 37. I have one dupe that needs to be in the population still. No, I think I have like 10 dupes that need to be in the sightseeing module that are not actually inside it. Yeah, it's still going down. Oh, is this no priorities for this? There is no priorities for this? All right, 109 minus 37. That theoretically should be... 72 right am i wrong that's right right it's 72 doesn't that mean i have 10 dupes that needs to be inside still am i doing bad math 3 6 8 12 16 19 23 27 30 37 yeah I'm so confused. How come 10 of my dupes are not going into the rocket modules? Contents none. Assigned to Abe. But is Abe inside? I actually don't know. I don't know who's inside the rocket and who's not. There we go. We had another one join. They know. Oh my god. There's nine dupes. This is just like job suitability, man. Nobody wants to work anymore. That also makes it so that a lot of my suits are empty. <laughs> I'm going to have to add like 
some suits manually myself. Just to make sure we have suits. Yep, we have suits. We have suits. The repair is always and forever. It's not bad. I see you, Napolinis. I see you both there. I hope you're inside your penthouse, dude. We assigned it to you. You better be inside, man. They should put in the contents the name of the dupe. Because I need to know, man. I need to know who's slacking, man. We have nine dupes not actually wanting to go into the sightseeing modules. Is any of them blocked off? The ladders go all the way up. We could go up here. From here, we could slip through, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so these two. One, two, three. That one doesn't need access. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, they're slacking, dude. We have nine dupes that are just not in the sightseeing modules. Oh, can you click me and see where I am? Use me for science. All right, so vitals. You have to pop up in this list. Oh, but this is not in alphabetical order. I have to go here. This is in alphabetical order. So we can actually look up people. Oh, but I can't find them. Ah... Add is in the sightseeing module. Okay. That means we go top down to see who the slackers are. Because I went from the alphabetical order, right? So one of the Aries is a slacker. Feels bad. One of the Berts is a slacker. One of the Devons is a slacker. Two of the Heralds are slackers. Of course, classic Herald. Jean is a slacker. Napolini's is in. Yo, man, I see you over there. This is a new one. No, Thorben, we're actually wrapping up our old run. Uh, this is our colony so far. We're doing all achievements. We're also doing uh, beating the game by losing the game. And we also have 100 dupes. And that's the uh, the run. We're about to wrap it up soon. Thorben, let me know if you have any questions. But uh, technically, it's an old run because we're continuing it still, right? We're making liquid hydrogen right now. Classic, right? Oh, is this not connected? Oh, there's not enough hydrogen coming out from that side. Feels bad. Oh, yeah. I have 81. So I'm putting them inside of the rocket modules right now. <laughs> That's what I'm actually doing. I'm putting them inside of the rocket modules to reduce my population. I have 109. I have 109. Alright. We're at nighttime. 81 out of 81 of the dupes have showered today. Let's go! Let's go! That means we're going to get one day out of 10 ticked off. Oh my god, it's a good start. It's actually a good start. It took me forever. I got one day the entire stream on uh, the last time I did this on Monday. So right now we did the strat. We already get a day. This is a pretty good feeling already. Would be weird. Yes. It looks like... Uh, I don't know why they're not going to do their thing. None of the jobs are high priority. They're all priority five. I do not know why nine of the dupes don't want to do the job. So you know what I think we need to do? We need to look for them and look what their job list is. So any dupe with a normal name. Do Steezy sleeping feels bad. Wait, you even lose game packing all dupes and sightseeing modules? Yes. Yes. Fluon, the answer for that is technically yes. So we technically lose before we win. <laughs> just got here what happened to the other dupes we packed them in inside of the rocket so we could do the last achievement a little bit easier job suitability so right now we're getting bopped by job suitability Devin ah wait how come he's not being selected 
Nothing here says go inside of Atmos suit. I mean, uh, sightseeing module. Yeah, I might have to uh, unassign, reassign. That's such a pain. That's actually going to be a pain. I have to unassign, reassign. Here we go. This is the Devon rocket. Is there only... There's two Devons. And this is another Devon rocket. Wait, are both Devons not inside? I'm so confused. It was me not showering, been caught in Apollinis, man. Why you gotta sabotage my run? They're kind of heavy though, but this at least good point for local industry. Kind of, it's not bad. I don't think it shows on the queue, it doesn't. Can he use that gantry? Not this one, you have to go on this one. So this one is gonna be for the uh, mo module above it. So this one doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter either because it's above the sightseeing module. This one below is what we're looking for. So this one doesn't matter, this one doesn't matter, this one doesn't matter, this one doesn't matter. This is in preparation of the higher up sightseeing modules. So it should be like this. This is a normal set, if that makes sense. So everything is reachable. They could jump from the ladder to here, ladder to here, ladder to here, ladder to here, ladder to here. Well, it's ladder to here. This one, there's nothing there, so it's fine. But yeah, I don't know why. We should be at 72. We should be at 72. I didn't lock anyone out from getting over here either. This feels kind of weird. All right, so Nisbet, we never got to her. We stopped at Nails. And then all the named dupes should be okay. May should be inside, but she's not. Store hydrogen, top priority. Life support for water sieve. None of this is actually to go inside the Psych C module. So it looks like May might be glitched out as well. So M is this side, right? Max, Marie, Lindsay, May. Number one, there we go. Oh, I could check in errands. That's a great way to check. No errands. No errands. No errands. There we go. This is the strap, boys. Because if they're inside, there's no errands. If they're not inside, we, we could actually see what's going on. It kind of lags, though, because I have uh, just so many dupes. Devin's in. This Devon. Not allowed by schedule. Oh, are you telling me that if we don't assign them a sightseeing module while they're awake, it doesn't count? I gotta wait for Devon to wake up. He just went to sleep. Is that actually why? Because he's asleep. This is also an operating job. Now, I want to check first. I want to see. I want to see what this shows up as when he wakes up. That might be a bug if that's the case. It's possible they picked up the job and abandoned it because of the schedule. That's also true. That's also true, which is why I do want to verify. I want to see if this lights up to number one for this guy. So 
So he wakes up, slides down the pole, and then climbs up. He grabs Abyssalite, and he's storing it. Not a sign. Wait, is this, this is the wrong Devin. Wait. Where is the correct Devin? Oh, dude, I have so many fucking Devins. Devin, dude, where are you? Wait, is this not the correct Devin? But it said not allowed by... I'm so confused, man. I'm so confused. Which one was it? It was this one? No, it was Devin. It was this one. Camille Devin. And then Aaron's. Not assigned. Alright, re-click. Everyone's assigned. Let's go top bottom. Top bottom. Maybe I signed the same Devin. The same room. Yeah, click on Devin. Not assigned to sightseeing module. What? Hold up. What's going on? Is that not you? Oh, no, I did reassign. I'm unclicking and reclicking. It is weird, but nothing's changing. Not assigned to sightseeing module. Devin man. Wait a second. If dupes can't do operations work, they gotta die? Oh my god, Devin, where are you? Are you a Luddite man? No, he's cool. Wait, that's the wrong Devin. Yeah, this guy's cool too. He even has access to training. He's assigned. I'm so confused, dude. Alright, we're going to priorities. Alright, Devin. When did you join? I want to see what you're prioritizing over this. Dude, he's at the bottom of the list. I'm scrolling forever, man. Yo, man. Y'all remember that guy? What's his name? Start with the letter D? Oh, wait. What the hell? He's not on this list? Yo, what's going on? Where did Devin go? Ducky? Do you steezy? He's not on the list. Oh, there he is. We need to do operating. Not assigned. Give Devin a hat. He has no skills. He doesn't get a hat. Not because I choose that he doesn't get a hat, but he has no skills. <laughs> Feels bad. Oh, you know what I could do? Devin is not falling for my tricks. I know, man. Alright, you know what I think I need to do? I'm going to change Devin's name. Devin, where'd you go? Devin, man. Your name is going to become... Noved. Devin backwards. Not... De he's not... He's not going to die. He's showering. He actually showers, unlike Napolini's. So I can't kill him. Because Napolini's is still alive. So, no dev, please. That way we know it's you.
Wait, this is alphabetical order. No dev? N-O? Not Cthulhu, no name. Wait, is he still Devin with a D? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This didn't get updated. All right, memory glitch, boys. Memory leak, memory leak. This is a memory leak issue. I'll fix that once we reload. I want to check out the other ones first, though. All right, so this is a memory leak issue. I, I, We know that's the case. He's going for the achievement. How am I missing nine dupes, though? That's the weirdest thing. Wait, no, 37. Yeah, that, that was the only guy. 37 plus 80 is 117? Weren't there two Devons? The other one's inside already. Uh, right here. Devon's already inside. He's his... Oh, this is Noved? Dude, what the hell just happened? Dude, my mind's breaking. Okay, so... There was a Devon inside here. Right? And it said that there was no Aaron, meaning it should have been filled. And then we changed the guy that was supposed to be here. We, we went to Devon. Right? And then we went into the skills tab. Right? To go to Devon. But now he's not available. Now the thing is, is that if we go to Noved. He's available. I'm so confused. They're swapped, but they're not swapped. Dude, I don't know what's going on, man. I'm I'm like lost, man. Like what what what's what the hell is going on? Alright, this is some memory leak shenanigans. I did not get the day one out of ten, feels bad. Alright, either way, I have to save load. I have to save load. He's here to sabotage a lot. Dude, he's trying his damnest, dude. He, he really is. I'm having some, some issues right now. It has to be a memory leak issue at this point. So we're going to do a safety uh, close the desktop and then relaunch the game. The twins are messing with... Dude, that's the worst. That's the worst, man. I Dude, if I ever... I've, I don't think I've ever met twins before in real life that messed with me. Not gonna lie. Then again, I don't have any friends that have twins either. Thinking the module has issues with duplicates with the same name. Oh, that would suck, man, if that was the case. That would suck. Not gonna lie. Modules have an issue. Because one with Argo is fine, another wasn't. So here's the thing. Maybe it was... Uh, I think something is wrong. Because 109 dupes minus 37, I should be at 72. Right? I should be at 72. Now I'm at 81. That means 9 of the sightseeing modules aren't accurately displaying the right stats. So I'm kind of curious why that's a thing. Because the one with Ario's fine, another one wasn't. Yeah. It's a classic. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Dude. I know that became a meme, but there's so many times that actually saved me, man. Like literally turning something off and on again has fixed up so many of my problems. Like I'm not even memeing. It has, man. It just really just has. All right, let's do another check. So this one, Devin, no ved. Okay. So Devin and then no ved. Click on this. 
Abe is not inside. Oh, I'm missing so many. Ari's coming to do it. Nice. Now, all of these are showing this now, which means I think this is normal. They bailed. They knew the end was nay. <laughs> Be like that sometimes. Harold would be a good test case for three, I think. If this is correct, two of the three Heralds should not be going in. It's weird. I don't know how this is working. I should be at 72 population, though. That's the one thing I think we should be at. We should be at 72 population. But I'm not. It's really weird. Napolini's is inside. And he's already a science. Like, how do we know if you're... Uh, it just went down? Went down again? I would give the dupe some time. We give the dupe some time. Population is still adjusting with the uh, relaunching of the game. Yep, people are going inside now. 78. We should be down to 72. All right, so I will pause because we're almost at the end of the night. People, we have maybe one guy showering, nobody. And let's check this out. Seventy-three out of seventy-eight, so we don't get it today. No oh, man, can we get to the right population? That'd be amazing. In school, I knew a pair of twins. At least they overused their abilities, and it is confusing. I've I've seen stories. I've never actually like uh like you know had it happen in real life, but I've heard of twins like taking each other's spots for class and stuff. Does it need to be ten consecutive days? Yes, ten consecutive days. That's what makes it hard. Oh, 77. 76. We're getting to the right population now. So it's starting to work properly. Once we get to 72, it should be a little bit easier. Now, here's the thing. The moment we finish the liquid hydrogen, we could remove this abyssalite surface. And then we could just immediately just build the final rockets and fill it all in. And then doing job suitability at the end with like five dupes is going to be a lot easier. We could make sure they're on the same schedule, leave at the same time to shower every day. It should be fine. Should be fine. They got little legs, lol. Yo, man, what's wrong with the little legs? I know they don't work out their legs. It's fine, though. Dupes have chicken legs. Nothing wrong with that. 75. Double checking. Do you have enough room for all the dupes in their modules? I have more than enough. I theoretically have 121 slots. And I went for more than enough, and I'm calculating that with the fuel as well. So the fuel that we're filling up to is for 11 dupes per rocket, even though I only need 10. And I'm doing that so that I could grab some more dupes at the very end of the run. <laughs> Just so that we could flex. Oh yeah, we had 110 dupes, man. You know how it is. 74? Okay. Two more, two more. I don't know which two, though. That's the problem. I don't know which two are the ones. We actually can't see anymore. This one has no errands. And that's because Ari boarded that same day. Alright, so let's go through the skills again. Let's do a rough check. Zandroff, what's good? How you doing? We're failing job suitability with 109 dupes. <laughs> Fun times, man. Devin is in. Good stuff. All the heralds are in. Okay, all three of them. Jean is not in. 
I need to check Jean's rocket. And then we have one nails. Okay. Zandroff, though, we're doing all right. Outside of the job suitability, we're making good progress. We're hoping to beat the game today. Shouldn't take too long. The hydrogen fuel is always is already halfway done. It looks like we have the top row and the second the top row. But the top row is, is a third of the fuel of the max. So it's really not that bad. Okay, so this is for Nails and that's for Napolini's. Meep, Max, Marie, Lindsay, Nails. Wait, we only have one Nail, so that's fine. That means I am missing... Who is it? Because we only have one Nails inside, right? Jean. Jean is here. What is Jean doing? Ah, right, we need to look for Jean. Oh, looking through here is probably going to be the easiest. So, bottom top. Uh, and then we look for a guy named Jean. You can tell by his haircut. There it is. Oh, he's sleeping. He doesn't have the job on his uh, priority list, though. Wait, still? Did I do bad math? I still should be at 72. Canister, empty your automatic dispenser, planter box farm tiles. Alright, so Jean... Oh, I have to go through this list again. At least I noticed his hair is cut. There it is. Operating. Urgent shower. That's an operating job. Oh, it's because of the bath time. We're doing all right, though. Otherwise, those Androff, how are you, though? How is the days today? How is your Wednesday? Hope you're doing well. Supplying operation materials. Okay. So, Jean here needs to be reassigned. Click out. Click here. Scroll down. Jean. And then let's see what he's doing. Lag, 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 lag. Everything's frozen, boys. I'm sorry. I'm alive. Here we go. All right. So let me move you here. And let me see if that... Yeah, space mission. Here we go. And... Sparkle flattered on a space mission. Let's go. Have you ever done mini base run? Uh, I did one time back in the base game. Because the mini base mod doesn't work for the DLC. I haven't played it since. So I tried it out when there was no content for the base game. But that was a long time ago. Like probably over two years. There's probably also no video of it either. But yeah. If it worked for the DLC, I would play it. But it doesn't, right? I believe it still requires a little bit of attention. Doing good. One work day till Christmas vacation. Nice. POE wrapping up. Watch it while I eat leftover ribs I cooked yesterday. I'm kind of jealous. Like, if I were, you know, last meal, and you asked me what I wanted for, for dinner, I would go full rack of baby back ribs. Not gonna lie. Cook perfectly. So I'm kind of jealous. I see you over there, Zandroff. Hopefully you got some uh, good sides with that, so that you can keep eating. Whether it's beer, roasted asparagus, sweet potato fries, regular mash, whatever it is, man. Sounds delicious. It doesn't even work in the current base game. You have to generate in the previous branch and switch to a newer branch. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. They need whoever up, whoever maintains it, man. They probably don't update it anymore. To be honest, that's what I'm thinking. Did I? Am I miss? Like, who am I missing? I should be at seventy-two. Oh, is Devin and Novid still causing problems? 
No, no, no. Only one of the nails. Only one of the nails has a rocket. And he's already inside. Because I only assigned one of two nails, dupes, in order to be in the rocket. So, because I want an alphabetical order, I probably need to go into the skills tab. Price of the ribs was crazy. They were BOGO, but still $35. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's expensive, man. All right, no vet is inside. That's good. Nails is inside one of them. And then everyone else that's inside has a normal name. Anyone that has a normal name that's still showing their skill points needs to go inside. But I think everyone is inside. Did I miscount? Is it really like 36 and not 37? Devin's inside. Yeah, everyone that's supposed to be inside is inside. If there's someone I selected that's not... So I'm showing 73. I'm at 109. And then it's 3, 6, 8, 11. Oh, it is 36. Oh, my God. 3, 6, 8, 11, 15, 18, 22, 26, 29, 33, 36. So 73 is correct. Oh, my God. I miscounted. I, I counted my sightseeing modules like 20 times. I, I miscounted every time, and no one in chat corrected me. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> I, I low-key thought chat would roast me for miscounting. Apparently, I was wrong. But at least we solved the issue. Okay, so we have 73 right now. It should be not bad. And I think what we could try to do is have the adjusted schedule. What's going on, Emily? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. No one told me I could have a last meal before going into the module life. Hey, man. It's, it's, it's group project, man. It's group project. Are we bashing chat? I'm in. No, 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 no. It, it was just, it's, it's, you know, typical. It's like if streamer miscounts, chat's, uh, chat's roasting you, right? I did not get roasted by chat, so I'm surprised. <laughs> Devin is gaslighting you? Devin, man. The Devin duplicates was, uh, was messing me up. Was messing me up. But uh, right now, we're fueling up the rocket with uh, liquid hydrogen. We're doing our best we can for that right now. The generators right here are struggling a little bit to uh, maintain power. But we are doing pretty good. Just trying to fuel up the rockets the best we can. And once we do that well, we're going to be able to launch soon. But I think we got it. Because with the new strat of docking everyone inside the rockets before we do job suitability, it is seemingly looking like it works well. Let's do a quick check. 0 out of 10, 66 out of 73. We're still off a little bit, but there's some people still probably not showering yet. Yep. People going in now. So even with that, I think I need to extend out where the uh, sightseeing modules need to be. Oh, another thing is I should probably set this up. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 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 So I need to do the ladder spacing. Because that's going to be where the gantries are going to go. And then it should stop there, I think. And then that way we could get ready with the sightseeing modules with the manpower before we store them all away. This is wrong. Never mind. Four, 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 and then the last one. That way I could go up, down, and down, up without having to worry about spacing. I was a little bit worried I did it wrong, though. Lord Rawl, Xandrop, and uh, Kaelin still in the colony? Yep. Some of them are in the rock. And actually, all of them are still in the colony, actually. They're just hanging around. they just hanging around. We're reducing the manpower, though. I shouldn't have done that because things take longer to build. 
but with the amount of dupes, I was hoping to get super, uh, super, super job suitability a little bit faster. I was hoping that was the case, but I don't know if it is anymore. That lines up pretty good. But yeah, they're doing good. They're alive. They're alive. Oh, I need this ladder. Did not even consider it. And then after that, I think we don't do anything at the bottom of the map anymore. Like, it's there. It's cool. But we don't need to do anything down here. I'm just doing some minor digging skills. Minor deconstructions. Nothing too insane. Yeah, like I'm thinking about just closing off access to the bottom so everyone stays at the top part of the map. Because the food is automatic at this point. Like, actually automatic. And then we can start sweeping up uh, Sleet Wheat Grain as well now. Start putting that back into the list. And then we could start growing all the pepper bread because we have basically infinite amounts of uh, pepper bread. But we're not going to have enough natural gas for that, sad sadly. <laughs> uh, we have enough because it's erupting right now. Let's make a couple of these. All right, so we're setting up some of the ladders still. And then after we do that, we have the gantries to put next to it. And then we also have more uh, sightseeing modules to build once we have the fueling done. So I want to do as much of the work as we can ahead of time. So it's easier for us to just smooth in the transition. And then we're ready to launch. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Gotta have the space in. There we go. Not a lot, just a couple of ladders. Let's make the priority of the construction job here though. A seven. do that more often than not i could stop ranching all of the of the critters i could stop ranching them because i don't think it's ever needed anymore we have so much food we don't need the drecos anymore that we could just stop ranching them i think it's cool though to leave them on keep them going all right so what's happening with our liquid h2 Gas is in grams. Gas is in grams. The liquid is in kilograms. It's looking pretty healthy. This needs to be a lower temp. Okay. So I think it's time to do another fill. Let's remove the canister emptiers. They've released basically the hottest hydrogen into the system. And then we can still do it on the side. This one, uh, we want a little bit more before we start. So while we let this condense, guys, I am going to use the restroom really quick. And I will be right back. Just got to pee, you guys. I'll be right back, right back. Really quick, two minutes. Be good, you guys.
Guys, we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're back. We're back. All right. So they're releasing hydrogen. We're going to cut the pipeline. And then once the gas in here becomes in single digit grams and have most of the tiles vacuum out, I think we're going to be good. And the liquid is at 500 kilograms per tile. 254. We need that to be a lower temp. So we're going to wait for the aqua tuner to stabilize first. And then once it does, we'll do a temperature check again because I don't want to overfreeze. Oh, and it was under freezing. Yep, some of it exploded, but it's fine. Most of it is still in liquid form. 255, pretty solid. I could actually pipe that out at 255. So let's get ready for that. So we are going for the third level. Oh, we're going to the back. All right, I, I do want it to be on the colder side then so that we don't get jabated like we did last time. So let's go to negative 255. I know some of the liquids are a little bit cooler than that, but we'll have this at 255 for now. In case some of them goes a little bit lower, we're trying to hold the thermal energy. 256, that's actually great. So let's go back to 254 because the temperature is actually where we need it to be at now, 256. And then let's just start pumping. Actually, are we ready with the pipes? The pipeline's going to the right still. So I need this to go back to the left. That goes into here. Yep. Insulated towels are good. So all we need to do is attach the power line to the pump. Yep, 256. That's looking great. All right, so we're just going to pump as much as we can. Uh, the splashing of the liquid falling down shouldn't happen as often anymore as we don't have as enough grams of hydrogen in the area. We're in a micrograms already, so either no heat transfer or not enough to actually do anything. And a little bit is melting out still, though. But looks like uh, we don't have to worry too much about the staggering. Back to this side, though. We need this to accumulate. 460 kilograms is not a lot. And this is at 254. I guess this is an okay temperature because we're still releasing gas. I was thinking about doing it lower so that we could let this fill up with uh, more gas hydrogen. I guess it's fine though. I also, I think, I don't know. I don't know if any of the dupes we put inside the sightsee modules today were plumbers because no docks available. What's going on, man? What do you mean? There's other areas to leave in, dude. Alright, man. Someone put that suit back. Just one of them. Oh, you know what could have happened? He was coming back and there was an open spot. And then someone repaired a suit and put it onto the lockers. Which caused it to be full while he was pathing back. That's one thing I'm thinking that could happen. Hydrogen's moving through. If it goes down to minus 250, it might break, but we're at 253. It's looking like we'll make the trip. So we'll have that. Uh, I think we can't deconstruct these, right? Because they're unreachable. Yeah. So we'll just do that. These that are unreachable, we'll just take it off so we don't have the uh, command floating. Those pipes are just going to have to melt. It feels bad. All right, so we should finish that row. This, once it's ready, should be able to do these four. This one's almost filled. So we should be able to fill up the right side completely. And then we'll get started on some of the beginning rows here. All right, another thing is, is that I don't want to have hydrogen go all the way to the back because I don't have this pipeline ready to siphon to the top. So I kind of have to be close. Good news is, is that I have to cut the hydrogen soon because we're running out of uh, volume for full pump size. If we have less than 10 kilograms, you lose heat faster, which causes, you know, your pipes to break. So I do need to pay attention to that. All right, let's do some quick math. Uh, here to here is 76 tiles. And then here to here is 24, meaning that... I need... Okay, that, that's a good idea. So when this fills up, because it's 90 bubbles, 
Oh, auto save lag. I actually should check my job suit ability right now. Always lucky. Always lucky. 72 out of 73. It's the same thing, man. I got lucky one day, and every other day has been close. So it doesn't look like it's really helping that much by storing them inside the sightsee modules first. It does increase the chances, but it's like it's going from 0.1 to 0.3. That's what it feels like. <laughs> That's what it feels like having that many dupes trying to go for that. I might not fill it up all the way, actually. Because for me to fill up the last tank, I need to basically have all the bubbles filled up into here. And then all that should fill up the tank, and then we're not even done with the second tank. So I don't think we're going to have enough for filling the hydrogen on the far left, which is fine. How many hours have you assigned to bath time? I assigned four hours. <laughs> four hours, then. They get the nice bath times, dude. We sent them to a spa and everything. I considered that. And I was hoping four hours is enough. <laughs> no, not enough. The bubbles are going to break somewhere. Yeah, they should have enough time. They, they, they shouldn't run out. Everything should be good and gravy, but it's not. That's the crazy thing. Five eleven. This is still in thousands of grams. Oh, it jumped up because something liquefied. That's fine. This is at 254 and we're still getting random liquefaction. Alright, so I think this is a great time to cut the pipeline. So that we could use this for fueling. This only needs to get up to 254 because it's a little bit closer. 254, 255. So all we have to do now for this side is wait. Once all the gases condense and liquefies, which is already starting. The two tiles of vacuum. That's where the pipeline's coming in, right? So it's going to uh, vacuum top down. With these two tiles being the last ones. All right, so we went from 19 kilograms to 7.6. And then as it moves to the side, it should solidify grams now. This is great. And then, yeah, going to be able to pump soon. All right, so this one is going to be rerouted somewhere else. We're going to this layer. I should actually go straight up for now. and go to the right side ones, because these don't need to be filled all the way. Oh, that makes it even worse. Okay. We should go to this one first. Because <laughs> this is a full 900. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I need to watch my, uh, my line for this. Alright, temperature-wise, 254. This is no longer running. 255 on the line. Yeah, it looks like when we get to the super cool, it's a little bit... Okay, we just let it run for a while. I think it's going to stabilize. Because it's just right here. We should be okay. And we shouldn't have that much gas present. It's milligrams. Yeah, we, we should be good. Should be good. Start the pump. Pump that out. Let's get to the right side. And of course, guys, welcome to the city. If you guys are new here, if you guys are just tuning in, my name is Dude Legit City. And I'm going to be your radio host for today. Welcome to the city. Hope you guys enjoy yours day. Right now, we got some uh, rocket fueling to be doing. Liquid hydrogen. We're also trying to do job suitability. Uh, getting a lot of ladders done. After the ladders, though, we're going to have gantries. We're going to have to build a lot of steel. I also need to make sure I have enough steel. So I do need to make sure this is on. We are out of refined carbon, of all things to run out of. I have actually didn't consider that. So that means I do have to go down here. We have to make some refined carbon. 99. I thought we would have enough from uh, getting coal 
from the journeys when we're getting full arene and then having refined carbon cook because of the rocket launches. Ended up not being enough, huh? Feels bad. Hopefully we have enough steel already and that job we're doing is just extra. But this is the typical proximity base jobs. They're going to do the jobs closest to the entrance first with these being done a lot later due to the walk time. Classic. Oh, we had some uh, pipeline damage over here, it looks like. When we were transporting the liquids without thinking about it. Yep. Feels bad, feels bad. What's going on, Dr. Evil? I see you over there. How are you? What's up, guys? Dr. Evil's Rubber Duck. Welcome on in. Hope you are doing well. But what is good, good sir? How was the days today? How was the break, dude? Does anyone in chat ever do the 12 days of Christmas? That's something I've only ever seen on TV. Not in real life. I've never seen people actually do that in real life. Where you get like a box for... Uh, like you get a gift every day. You guys know what I'm talking about? You get a gift every every day for 12 days but it's like a small gift like a small bite of chocolate like a stocking stuffer so to speak that's something i've only seen on tv man i don't think i've ever seen people yeah like an ads and calendar thing yeah, yeah 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 but the one specifically like the old christmas carol yeah but i mean it doesn't have to be the same gifts as the carol more so that you know it's 12 days of christmas i've seen people do like miniature boxes that are like two inches by four inches like size of a box small box of miniature gifts like that they would give away sometimes the miniature candy cane sometimes it's a bite of chocolate sometimes it could be other sources of candy maybe another snack maybe something like turkish delight who knows right but i've never had that as a thing like to me it's, it's always like oh that's only something you know it's a hollywood thing it's not real <laughs> right it's it's like it, it's kind of messed up, but I guess growing up, that's kind of like the logic. Oh, what is that that we're doing? Oh, it's a Hollywood thing. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> you don't need the second row of rockets. A ladder's for the uh, left rocket. Yeah, I should adjust that. Make it uh, less jobs. I should adjust it. Unless you're saying uh, all this. It's because I need it for gantry access. Without the gantries, you can't board. Doing good. Had a gig today, so it was nice. Other than that, I'm writing on my exam. So it was nice break today because, bruh, I'm almost done with this class. It's a great feeling. Hope you get a good grade. And then above that is, uh, dude, not a lot of times do people get recommendations from a professor. And I don't know if you did amazing in this class or not, but yo, man, hope you got a rec. <laughs> hope you got a recommendation, man. Maybe for, you know, extra credits, anything. Those are usually, you know, goes a long way. Also, if you think you did pretty well in the class. Uh, I mean, the one segment ladder. Oh, because I'm already flush against it. That's what you mean. I see. I see. That's actually true. I can still put this here. But you know what? I think the idea was correct to do this. No, it's here. That's why. There we go. Oh, no grades. Just pass, not pass. Gotcha, gotcha. And was that a tough class then? I don't think I've ever taken a class as pass, not pass. Oh, I left it running. Oh, I left this running. Oh, I left this running. Why did I leave this running? No. How much hydrogen is this? <laughs> I forgot about it. I was just talking with chat, having a good time. Completely forgot about the design. Holy crap. All right. So this is filled up. This is filled up. We need to cut this line. Why is it not going up top? 
There we go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Dude, it keeps breaking. Stop breaking. Please. It's so much hydrogen, dude. All right, we should be good. We should be good. This should not fill up all the way. I found out my friend has colon cancer today. So hearing all the good vibes and hearing Tula just calming voices making me feel better. Dude, that is tough. Fractal kind, dude. That is some tough stuff. Uh, I will say this. If you catch the colon cancer early enough, it's really not that bad. It just, like, what matters the most with that, because I have the most experience with that cancer, is uh, how deep in the process is it. So hopefully it's stage one. He gets it, you know, surgically removed and he's fine. Because that's all, that's all it is. And then what you're hoping doesn't happen is that it never spreads. So hopefully they're able to isolate, remove, and then everything's going to be great. But that stuff is tough, man. That stuff is tough. Take the steel, it's free. Yes and no. Most of the time it was fine, but I think it's because the class is really heavy on methods and it's kind of abstract. Fairy dust. So maybe that's why. Oh, that's crazy. She's removed. They removed a lot. She is super down about quality of life. It's a tough vibe. Yeah, another thing about it is that you have to do dietary changes too, I think. At least that's what I had, uh, or at least that's what my dad had to do. Dietary changes and all that. But yeah, that stuff is tough. Is it really that much of a lifestyle change, though? Not saying that it's not, but I'm just thinking about it. Like, my dad didn't really change much of what he did. 3D, I hope you're doing well. I see you over there. Math will make you good money, though. Will it? There's a meme out there that goes... There is a guy with a master's degree in X, and there's another guy with a master's degree in X, and then there's another guy that has a master's degree in math, and then there's a large pizza. And then the question is, which one of these does not belong? And the guy says, answer, the guy would have master's degrees in mathematics because the other ones could provide a dinner for a family of four something like that like it was just a roast on the uh basically the uh subject i don't know man a lot of pain i think i make decent money because of math oh gotcha gotcha that pain yeah it's it's tough man because they, they reroute a lot of stuff Depending on how much is removed, too. Hopefully she... I don't know. Does she have to have a stoma bag? Because my dad had that. That's part of, like... That kind of sucks kind of a thing. How are you? We're doing alright. We're trying to uh, beat the game right now. And trying to do a lot of uh, fueling of the rockets. But outside of that, we're doing alright. Just trying to progress into the game. Gotcha, gotcha. Yo, anyways, Fractal Kind Dream, dude. That's tough stuff. That is tough stuff, man. For the most part, I don't know. Just try to keep your friend, you know, good support. If they need anything, help them out with it. Otherwise, man, it's tough. Just do your best. I'm not good. I'm sick. Oh, that's tough. Feel better, do ADL? I heard this uh, wave of sickness that's hitting us is pretty deadly. Or it's hard to, uh, you know, recover from. So do, feel better, drink water, do all the things. Most of the time, I'm all right. I got uh, one horn in the side of the class. You guys sneak math into everything. Yo, man. Math is the world, baby. I'll tell people that are watching this for the first time there's no math. And then I lie to them. 
because there's so much math in this game. <laughs> yeah, there's no math, dude. Okay, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5, times 5, divided by 5, and we get 5. I don't know how that works, but hey, math, baby. And they're like, oh, man, too much math, dude. Feels bad. So with the H2 is a little bit slacking, which is fine. Feel better, though, Fractal Kind. Feel better, man. Ten kilograms, it's still stacking up. This side, even though it's liquefying instantly, it's taking forever to fill up the uh, liquid H2. Alright, so after this is done, we've got one more layer. And then the top layer is gonna be filled fast. So hopefully this is not gonna be too bad. Uh I still can't remove the pipelines from there yet. Gotta leave them there. Gotcha, Fractal. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me know if you have any questions about what we're doing. If not, man, sit back, relax, and enjoy it. And ask the questions as they come up. All right. So, we uh, packed away a couple of dupes. It's sadly was not enough. Still working on the ladders. Taking some time, though, which is fine. I think we should have enough suits. So we moved 36 dupes away. 24. 20. That's 44 suits. Oh, wait. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12. No one's here. No one's here. 13. 14? Let's go with 14 dupes. Right? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So here to here, 17. I got to add five suits. Let's add three. I need to make sure we have enough suits for the dupes. People are going in and out, and I'm missing suits for some reason. What's going on, Leo Far? Hope you're doing well. I see you over there. True, but it's all right. I'm fine at math, though, so sometimes it's a little bit tricky for me. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Not gonna lie, man. Outside of college, you, like, like, as an accountant, you don't use more than, like, basic math. <laughs> so me, I don't, I don't really dive into deep math that much anymore. How are you, Leo Far? Hope you're doing well. What is red gas? Uh, this is pink gas, hydrogen. And we we're using that for a fuel source. So we're trying to liquefy it by chilling it down. And then we're trying to pump it into the uh, fuel tanks. Good. Just did an exam and have two quizzes left. Nice. And then after that, you have winter break, hopefully. Got to have that sweet, sweet winter break, of course. 15. That's not bad. I need to liquefy a little bit faster, though. This side liqu liquefies way too fast on this side. Yes, Oni time. Sweet, sweet. Of course, I'm still trying to do, uh, you know, the classic. Classic uh, issues we're having right now with the uh, job suitability. All right, so these are filled up. And then we just have the top row last. Yep, hoping I'll do okay on the part of the project that I'm going out on all the things I'm um, comfortable with. Nice. Dude, man. Gotta hope for the best, but honestly, if you put in the work, man, the results will come. Typically. If you put in the work and you know you did a good job, you shouldn't have to be worried. Dude, there's so much hydrogen up top now. Just from the explosions. Alright, so this side... How do we want to do this? Because we just don't have enough hydrogen coming in. Get a different pump here for the right side. 
that could be a thing. The hydrogen here is going down, but it's fine. I also have a hydrogen geyser here. Maybe I just tap into that for the resource and just pump it into here. So that we don't have to have the pumps for the other design. Nah, it's going to take too long to build. We could pull from here, but it's probably too far away to pull a pipeline all the way up. I'd rather have them build my ladders. Alright, so I think we make this sweep only. Because we don't need people delivering to the automatic dispenser anymore. We were just doing that to reduce lag by just moving all the Abyssalite. I was hoping to eventually sweep all that from the top. Sweep up all the regular from the top. So that it's a little bit less heat. But it shouldn't matter. So I think we just cancel that. Make them work on the stuff inside. Hopefully this hurries up and has it done uh, sooner than later. And then we got to add the gantries here still. Which is going to be fun. And then it's nighttime. Let's wait for the guys to finish the shower. And then hopefully we get the job suitability achievement. Kappa. Nah, we're probably like 10 days behind still. Not Cthulhu, Ruby, Stinky, Nisbet. And let's check. Ooh, two days in a row. So we're one out of 10, and then we're going to get another one right now. So 73 out of 73. This is going to be the first time we get two days in a row. Let's go. What's the temperature next to the rocket with all those leaks? Must be cool. Dude, it's actually pretty cold, yeah. All the liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen in the area cooling down. Dude, you can see the gas bubble, man. That heat map is kind of wild. Funny thing enough, the heat from the Abyssalite is leaking out to the Hydrogen a little bit fast. Yeah, I feel good about most of all else, and I made a banger introduction. Hey, When talking about writing papers and so on, they have told us to find a writing style that works for us, works for us and that ha have uh, that they like creative introductions. I got a load of creative, and I name drop Daft Punk. Yo, man, you're about to get copyright claimed IRL. <laughs> Yo, man, you probably get copyright claimed IRL, dude. Holy crap. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't Daft Punk say that they broke up? So the two guys that make up Daft Punk is no longer a thing anymore, right? And they're no longer making music? Does, it, does anyone know about that? I, I think I heard about something like that. The legendary group Daft Punk disbands. I would imagine you would play their music in the background. It's like, oh yeah, Daft Punk. And then you hear in the background, harder, better, faster, stronger. They made music? Yep. Yeah, they split up. Oh, it feels bad, dude. Daft Punk introduced me to Techno Trance. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, man. I remember growing up in the LimeWire era. Y'all remember that? Kazaa, LimeWire, BitTorrent, and all that jazz, man. I remember growing up in that era and just, just hearing their music all the time. You mentioned the song Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. I knew it, dude. That's that's the that's the, the most popular one, man. That's one of the most popular soundtracks. Not gonna lie, it's just, it's just good, man. They do good music. Or used to. Not anymore, because they're uh, no longer together, right? It feels bad. Daft Punk was amazing, though. They was. Does anyone know why they split up, though? Was, was it anything bad? Maybe one member was doing something they didn't like? I don't know. Anyone know the details about that? They made music. Almost Emily thinks Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger was made by Kanye West. Kappa. Oh, this is actually hot now. This used to be negative temperature. I guess they can't keep up with the cooling with the uh, <laughs> setup here. I probably we'll probably get close, but it feels bad. The weeds words lack fertilization. No one's bringing the uh, stuff for that anymore. That feels weird. How come no one's going up there for the jobs? Is everyone doing other jobs elsewhere or something? 
Is it steel manufacturing? This is not even getting deconstructed. I'm so confused. It just feels like we're lacking duplicate power now. <laughs> it feels weird. I have 100 dupes. We reduced that number to 70, and it feels like we don't have people working anymore. It feels so weird. Actually feels pretty weird, not gonna lie. They're playing games. Yeah, they are, dude. They're just dancing, dude. Dude, stream us. Uh, the stream us. The streamer let us uh, just dance all day. I think one of my professors will be like, but with the other one, I feel like it's 50-50. I'm afraid he'll think it's too cheeky. Ooh. Yo, man. You're taking the risk, huh? Hopefully, you know, professor has a sense of humor. It's around Christmas time. Maybe he's in a good mood. And that'll make it all better. But yeah, man, you gotta be weary of that, man. A lot of the time, that's 100% like preference dictated. Five more ladders. So how is the liquid fuel? It's coming in. It's a little bit slow. Looks like we're going to be pumping from this side again. We could probably pump from this side. If we do exact amounts for this reservoir. Oh, this is what? 750? 750? To get that to 900. Is that 75 bubbles? Ooh, I don't know if I could even do that. Hopefully we don't get any more breaks anymore. Yeah, but the first one is all for it for sure. Maybe it's calculated risk. Hey, man. Hopefully there's a... There's a reward for the risk. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, that's, that's all you need to make sure. That there is a reward. You're not taking a risk for no reason. <laughs> that's that's something to watch out for. How are you? Is he narcoleptic? No, he's just exhausted. I'm so confused. Oh no, 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 no. he's not narcoleptic. How are you not sleeping in bed in time? That actually worries me. I might have too much going on. Is that the case? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the command capsule. Okay, so we don't actually need so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, command capsule. All right, so the top ones I shouldn't need. So I could actually deconstruct this, remove some of the ladders for that. That should make the jobs, eh, I mean, I'm not going to say easier, but something we need to do. So we don't have to go all the way to the top now. Okay, okay. Part of me wants to start mining out this side of the rockets. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. No, even if there's too many tasks, they usually get a bed for rest if they cannot path there. That's weird. I'm thinking, like, they could path from my base to anywhere, though. I think we have some problems with that, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, uh, since I make them not have to sweep anymore, it should be also easier. Just them doing the jobs. We're not going to make them work on the right side, either. Should be fine. Now we could unload all the dupes, so we are back up to 109, <laughs> if we want the extra labor. That could work, that could work. Get the extra labor in. 10 kilograms, we could solidify that. Oh, this is starting to fill up properly now, nice. There's a little bit here that's a little bit too close, I guess. Or maybe there's not enough thermal energy. I mean, we're not getting solid, so leaving at 254 is probably fine. Okay, okay. So how else could we increase the amount of hydrogen we get up to the top without doing excessive tasks? It doesn't feel like we have any other way, man. Moving the hydrogen from here... Does it seem like it's enough?
we haven't even built the sweepy <laughs> classic they're not even sweeping the sweet wheat grain fast enough oh maybe i shouldn't make them do pepper bread then Oh, I'm cycling the sleet wheat grain. Oh, that's why. We're dropping off the grain here and they're looping infinitely. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> that makes sense now. Why, like, none of the jobs were getting done. They were literally sitting here grabbing grain and just, and just delivering it back. And it's because I forgot to turn that off. Oh my god. All right, we'll turn off frost buns. Barbecue cooked seafood is fine. We're eating that separate. We don't need the surf and turf. It's just nice to have. The, everything else should be stored here. Yeah. Yep. Storing everything. No longer have to have that running. This is low now. Okay, that should have freed up some of the dupes for us. Hopefully. This is at 250 kilograms. That's not bad. Okay. So 250 means I have enough for that. What's the temp? 249? No, that's way too low. I could pump it out, but I don't think it's worth it. Not yet, anyways. Because we could fill these up. Part of me thinks I should be able to just break apart these two rockets and start building them up vertically. Part of me honestly thinks that, and I should try to attempt that. The downside is everything hot from up here falls down, which kind of sucks. I don't want that heat energy bopping my uh, fueling properties. But I feel like I want to get started on that. Not everything is built yet, though, so I should have time. We need more hydrogen, man. We need more hydrogen. Building a pipeline for more hydrogen to, to funnel in is going to take too long, I think. But outside of that, there's no other way to increase throughput. So it's like a waiting game, and I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. But I got to wait. Hmm. Could I use a different power line from the bottom of the map? Oh, this one's at 1,200. Ah, it's no way I could get a power line to something up here, right? Reduce some of the power consumption so that we could just have this dedicate more power to this side. It's probably not much we could do for that, though, realistically. Let's also cut this out because we don't have hamster wheels anymore. Those pipes are not even getting deconstructed. 278. More is coming in, though. More is coming in. Are we no longer plumbing? No, we're still doing it. Even from the bottom. Man, there's just a lot of tasks that just need to be done right now. Uh, we should have enough lumber there forever, so let's actually shut this off. We'll just make that sweep only, so dupes don't have to deliver lumber from here anymore, because we have enough lumber here, I think. Yeah, 99 tons, 99 tons, 99 tons, 99 tons. That we should have enough ethanol until we beat the game, so we'll turn that off. I probably also don't need the compost anymore for the dirt because we were feeding a shovel which is the only reason why we would actually need the dirt so let's take out the shovel and then instead of disabling everything i think we just put a door here and no longer allow access so that's gonna make it so that we no longer compost, which is fine. This is fully automatic. I don't have to empty anything. Everything here is going to be fine. 
If we don't need dirt anymore, we could reduce labor that way. Uh, I did kind of need the microchip here. Otherwise, the system kind of fails. That doesn't fail, but we run out of power and it becomes inconsistent, which I don't want that. So we're going to need this door. Oh, nice. They're working on it already. Let's go, Mr. Quinn. So let's go like this. So if they do go in because I don't stop them in time, like someone has a job to go inside like this guy, they're still going to be able to leave, which is what I want them to be able to do. No new entries going inside, but if they do get in, they could leave. And then we just leave the system like that. So let's check that. Let's click on Quinn. That's a plastic ladder, not Quinn. And navigation. Yep, it stops right in front of the door because they can't go inside. That's good. That's good. Uh, let's also disable harvesting on the sleet wheat grain, because this is supposed to be an automatic thing by itself. Meaning that we have it kind of just rot, not rot, but fall off. And then we'll just pick it up ourselves right now, because I don't want to build the rail. Same thing with the pitch of pepper nuts. We have so much that we shouldn't have to auto harvest. We'll just leave it in like that. S the, all these shellfish are just chilling. Doing the repair still. I could just not go into the Drekos, but I think all my reed fibers inside. <laughs> I actually think all my reed fibers inside, so I can't lock them. Maybe I do though, and just have it on the plastic side, because that could be at yeah, 500 reed fiber. All right, let's lock the Dreko Ranch. Same thing. You could only leave but not go inside. Yep, so we go into here, can't go inside anymore. So this Draco Ranch is going to be isolated. Uh, I probably don't need to do anything with these shovels anymore. I mean shovels, uh, hatches. I could probably make it so that we ban access here. So let's do it all of these. So we don't have to ranch these guys anymore. These guys could still get lullaby. And I could probably do that here as well. I don't think I need to ranch the hatches. Alright, so you guys could leave, but you guys can't go inside. That should reduce a lot of the jobs we have. So hopefully everyone just puts the suit on and goes outside, builds everything. Alright, so as we did that, hopefully the hydrogen was accumulating. 250 to 300 kilograms, it was. This is at 300 as well, that's pretty sweet. All right, let's turn this off. We're going to actually start using this to feel the right side. And let me do the rerouting again. Oh, we ran out of power for a second. It feels bad. All right, so let's cut this. Have everything reroute up to the other side. That saves this line from having to pump. At least temporarily. And then once all the gas goes, we'll start pumping. So 251, temperature is still cold, just needs a little bit more time to apply the thermal energy to the liquid hydrogen. The hydrogen's at 253, it's going up, or it's going down, which is good, 254. Nice, okay, so we should be fine. So we need 75 bubbles to go into here. So from here to here is 35 here to here is 21 that's 56 here to here is 66 that means i need to go here to here right in front of the ladder and once we have that that should be enough i'm okay with losing one or two bubbles probably it should be fine all right so we're just waiting for the temperature to stabilize micrograms no that's stable yeah we're actually good all right let's pump it in All right, so the route is going the right way. So once we get to here and it's full bubbles, we could just shut it off. And it starts off with a full bubble as well. That's actually pretty sweet. 254, it's not bad. We don't see idleness, which is a good sign. Ladders are almost done. This one was uh, not finished before. Now these two are almost finished. All right. Dude, what in the heck? Aw, oh, man, Echo Ridge. 
They're going to be uh, coming in. I mean, we still got a little bit of time before we can do the final launch, though. Feels bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Mr. Aqua Ridge Gaming, how are you? Seems like you debated yourself from last Saturday, but how was the streams, Mr. Echo Ridge? How was all the things, man? Shout out to you. Yo, Mr. Live Action Pixel, how are you, Mr. LAP? Hope you're doing well as well. But of course, welcome on in, you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Too Legit City, and we're playing some Oxygen Not Included. Shout out to you, playing some Oni as well. Talk to us about the stream, Mr. Echo Ridge. Hope it was a nice time. Queen Calero, the cocky chick, Max, Triple X, Double H. LC Peachy, welcome on in. Just Slim, what's good? Mr. LAP himself, Creeper Blocks on it. Wait, Creeper Blocks on YouTube, maybe? Something like that? Uh, Yoruchi, Sama, 23, welcome on in, you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm pretty sure Mr. Echo Rich was taking care of you guys, so I guess it's my turn to do a good job as well. So, guys, right now we are having 109 dupes. I have 36 of my dupes right now inside of the sightseeing modules because the last achievement I need to do that I'm failing really hard with is job suitability. My dumbass thought I could do this with 109 dupes and I made a bad decision because I am not able to. So I'm using the shower strat suits here. I have 112 suits and that feeds into these showers and we have everyone showering every day and we give them four hours to shower every day. I always get one to two dupes that don't shower and i've achieved one actual day where all the dupes did job suitability correctly now the problem is after we did that i was like let's cut down the dupes by putting them in the sightseeing modules so we're down to 73 that we're able to do it afterwards guess what we're still having problems stinky is one of them and that guy got renamed to napolini's so uh, what we're going to want to do next is finish feeling it. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. I hope this doesn't break soon. All right. So we need to pipe out to the left and to the left. Hopefully. Oh, that doesn't do anything. I have to do this then. Oh, that sucks. Because that means I lose all of this hydrogen. Feels bad, man. No, classic. All right, so we're going to lose all this hydrogen. You hate to see it. Because I'm not going to be able to build a bridge in time for that to work. I could try, though. I don't think the dupes are going to get that in time. So right now, we are doing uh, the rockets. You might be wondering why I have so many rockets. We're going to be doing something called beating the game by losing the game. So we're going to launch all the rockets at the same time with the entire colony inside. So we're going to have 110 sightseeing modules. And the rockets are going to be up this high. Right now we only have around 36. We'll have to add some more. And the gantries. But once we do the filling, we're going to do the achievement, hopefully. With maybe like five dupes. And then we will do the final launch. But of course... Thanks so much for the raid, Mr. Echo Ridge. I don't know if you're there. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate the support uh, either way. Crystal Lilac, I see you, man. I see you. Welcome on in. Poor Echo has Slime Lung something fierce. Wait, 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 wait. Is he playing with the old school Slime Lung mod or something? Knew it. Classic stinky, dude. And of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I am happy to help. But we are on the final frontier. Oh, Echo's sick. Oh, damn. He doesn't have the Rona, right? I hear there's a wave of sickness. Yeah, yeah, in real life. That uh, is hitting a lot of people. Like, a lot of people are getting sick, and it's actually, like, worse than a lot of the colds or flus from previous years. Like, it's like they're getting stronger or something, man. I don't know. But, yo, Echo, if you're there, man, hope you feel better. Drink some water. Drink some Gatorade. Whatever it is, man. Stay hydrated. Stay in bed. Sleep. Anything you do makes it worse. So, just stay in bed, dude. Sleep. Watch some Price is Right or some Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, man, all the classics. And yeah, dude, hope you uh, rest will rest easy. Appreciate the raid once again, but damn, man, you got to recover. Because I hear this stuff is uh, tough to recover from. But yeah, I heard a lot of people have getting sick and it's not the Rona. So it's, it's like, it's pretty serious. It's pretty serious. 
All right, so they're starting to prioritize doing a little bit of repairs in, uh, instead of doing the ladders, which kind of sucks. But that's probably a good sign for me to get my gantries in. I don't know if I have enough steel for this, so this is going to be a good test. I feel like I'm going to be close. Now, we do need the gantries, because if we don't have these, this is going to be a bad time. Oh man, memories of the number of sick days from school that were filled with Bob Barker and others just hit me. Yeah, dude. That was that's how it was for me in elementary school. Mom, I'm sick. Okay, stay home, son. I'm like, okay. And then, you know, I'm just in bed, turn on the TV, have that basic cable antenna set up, and channel two. We got the prices right, man. Before what was his name? Drew Carey took over. Those were the classics. And I would always watch in the morning because I would have to wake up for school. And then once I wake up, I couldn't fall back asleep. And I would watch until 11 o'clock because that's when the drama start actually playing. You would have back-to-back uh, -back episodes of The Price is Right in the morning. And then if you get lucky, you have shows like Supermarket Sweep and stuff like that. And then after that, you get like Judge Judy. Which was funny sometimes, and sometimes I just didn't understand as a kid. And then you would get, like, Days of Our Lives and those soap operas. And I was like, yeah, I'm not I'm not down for that. <laughs> and then i just, you know, go to sleep, take a nap around, like, 10 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and then there was that show with no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, stop. I don't remember that. Press your luck. That's it. Thanks, Queen Calero. I have I don't remember that. What was that show? I had more Judge Judy and Bob Barker, man. I don't think I've seen that. Press your luck. And I I'm not gonna lie, I miss Supermarket Sweep. That show was low-key kind of intense. Cause I learned as a kid what the most expensive items are in terms of white uh weight to price ratio. And it was always coffee beans. Eleven rockets. 11 rockets, Mr. Dex. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's going to end right here. You know what else I need to do? I have a lot of lead. I should probably use something else. Now I'll use iron. I need power. I need power. Because I'm going to need to open up all the doors man I did have a power line here still right yeah I'm gonna need that all right we're gonna have to connect that as well let's go let's go I think they still have that on a different network but I think it's cable ah I didn't have cable back then man I had the basic basic channels that's why price is right with was the greatest channel two dude basic channels and it was a game show channel i you know what's one of the things i thought it was weird a lot of like the celebrity or non-celebrity game shows i loved as a kid i loved watching them whether it was uh you guys remember that show where it was tic-tac-toe with celebrity celebrity square and how it would work is you have two contestants. They choose which one they want to mark with their, with their mark. And then they um, would have to answer a trivia question. And you as a contestant, you don't have to know. Oh, Hollywood Squares. I thought it was Celebrity Squares. Hollywood Squares. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they, you would have to believe them or not. True or false, basically. And it was, it was a great show, man. It was mad funny. They rotate the people sometimes. It was just an awesome time, man. I miss the game shows. And then it's like, they stopped doing a lot of game shows for whatever reason. I just missed that type of show. I don't know, man. Maybe a lot of them were, you know, died out. Idea got old. And yo, Poetic Artist coming in with the six months. Holy crap. Half year mark. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. Enjoy the emotes, D20 Dice Ad Free Viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. I see you over there, Poetic Artist. We're reminiscing about the old school shows we used to watch when we were sick at home as a child. And we were talking about things like, uh, you know, The Price is Right, 
classics like that, right? You remember those shows, man? Remember this thing about that? But yeah, we're, right now we're talking about Hollywood Squares. That was a great show, man. I miss that. What happened to 37 dupes? They're inside of the rockets. And this is to help us out with job suitability. So we can't do it with 100 dupes. It's just so hard to micromanage. I constantly get one to two dupes that don't do the shower when they're supposed to. And because of that, I uh, don't have that achievement. And we can't beat the game if we don't have that last achievement. So I'm trying to get that down right now. Otherwise, guys, if you guys are coming in, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. I want to make sure you guys are comfortable. And of course, right now we're doing the Liquid H2. Oh, I didn't actually do that yet. Oh, okay. We need to cut this line. I am not making any more fuel, which is actually pretty bad. And then this is going to pump out. Nice, nice. All right. Now we have fuel on this side, though. That's going to help. So we are still doing the last one right here. So we need to cut off the hydrogen from here so that we don't add any more thermal energy to it. Turn these off. And then once this is released, we could actually check it out. So this last one right here needs three, six, no, 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 six, no, 560. 560 kilograms. And then whatever is left is just going to break in the pipes. So 560. Wait, wait, wait. So 560? From here to here is 100 tiles. Jesus Christ. All right, so... Here to here, 29, 23, wait, 29, 33, 37, and I need 56. So it's basically like right here. Once we get to here, we could cut the power. And I need to remember to cut the power this time. Not going to lie. I need to remember I don't want to mess it up like last time. All right, so since we cut the gas, I need to do a copy-paste here. We're waiting for all the gas to basically dissipate or liquidize. And then the temperature's at 255. That's actually not bad. I do want it a little bit lower, but it's a little bit troublesome to do that. I don't know if I want to risk it. I can wait for the 257 to come back, so we lower it to 256. If we could do that, that's actually great. That's all we need. We need to get this a little bit lower in temperature. Extual though, hope you're doing well. Happy Wednesdays. How are you, good sir? Hope you're doing well. How was your days? How is your hump day? Middle of the week. Halfway through, man. Halfway through. Grams, that's good, that's good. 55, 56. All good, good to hear, good to hear. Alright, so. What are the temps that we're running at right now? 56.7, 56, 55. I want to lower the temps, but I'm a little bit worried we might solidify a little bit of the hydrogen. Honestly, I think we should be fine, though. All right, pause. I want to check a job suitability one more time. 72 out of 73. One dupe has forsaken me today. That sucks, man. When one dupe tells you, yeah, I'm not working today. Feels bad, man. Ah, man, that's kind of gross. All right, uh, let's assume we're not going to have the other suits ever leave the sightseeing modules. Let's just make sure we have more suits than necessary. So the dupes always have a suit to come out. All right, so here, MCG, that's great. That's almost a vacuum. Oh, uh, did that just flash? 255, 255.9. Oh, it's starting to stabilize in temperature. That's not good. Because uh, I need to do... I guess we do this. So we do a couple of bubbles. 
and then we go back to 254. And then it should shut off. So the low temp is not going to be enough to freeze it, but it's going to be enough to push the temperatures overall. And then the hydrogen should hold the energy to cool down the other bubbles until it comes back. And then we should be able to not solidify it, but have it get uh, pumped out at a lower temp. So 256 is good enough. I think we're fine. And let's do it. Did you get the achievement already? No, I still need to do it, man. It's, it's a struggle. So it's here. There we go. So we wait till the hydrogen is up to here, and then we pull the power, pull the plug. And then after that, we should have this line done, and then we just got this one to do. Is it hard? Dude, I have one dupe out of my entire colony of dupes that keeps, like, jabating me. He keeps not showering or something. I don't know. He's just not working in a suit. Cthulhu is fault for sure. <laughs> I like how everyone always blames Cthulhu, man. He didn't do anything wrong, man. He just sleeps all day, which is probably why it's his fault. <laughs> it's because he sleeps all day, man. It's a problem. Doesn't shower. Just uh, wakes up, goes back to sleep. Classic. And then one, two. Get to the power. Cut the power line. And then whatever's inside just leaves. Sounds like wanna be me, yo, man. Everyone wants to be a real guitar. They don't want to be the fake stuff. 254 at this tile. It's actually really good. Because we're trying to get to the end without breaking the pipes. I think we're going to be doing fine. The insulated tiles with insulated pipes probably does help us out. And then after we do that, we're going to go to the second layer. I just want to make sure everything is topped off. 256 right here. That's pretty great. Right side is complete though. These rockets could launch the moment we actually finish them. Oh, the gantries are almost halfway done. That's actually sweet. It makes me feel like once the gantries are complete, we can just do everything. You know what? If we get everything up to the two rows done, we're going to start breaking up the first rocket. 100%. We have to. We have to build this faster. Gantry height? Yo, man. We're almost there. The final frontier is within our eyes, within the reach. Real Guitar joining the Duke Colony? All right. So Real Guitar, you have a limited choice of dupe selection so you could only select a dupe with the name of nails and afterwards meaning that you have to have the duplicate that you choose be with the default name of nails or later because i have i think every dupe so no meeps you can get a stinky though all my unnamed dupes are inside the rockets right now as you can see you see the NA? They're inside of a rocket, so they don't count. But you see all the default dupes got renamed. I mean, uh, got put into the rockets. So who would you like to join, Real Qatar? Is there a dupe you like that has a name that's a little bit, uh, you know, alphabetically at the bottom? Rowan, Turner, Pei, Ruby, Nisbet, Nails, Stinky, Nicola, another Ruby. Let me know, let me know. Travato, classic name. Quinn, another one. Stinky is the stinky is the best. Ruby with a space helmet. Alright, we got you. So let's give you the oldest version so you have the most skill points. That's gonna be this one. Alright, real guitar, we're in. And then you want the space helmet. So alphabetically, you should be here. And then we got to give you this, 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 this. All right. Rocket piloting. Let's go. This guy looking straight like uh, the guy from that one movie, Guardians of the Galaxy, man. Looking like the captain. Alright, so did this go all the way? 900. So this line is complete. Let's go. Okay, so I could cut this line now. And I, I don't need a deconstruct. We're just going to leave the pipeline there. Yep. 
hydrogen is still there. It's moving backwards. It's going to break in the pipeline eventually. Nothing we could really do about that. And then from here, we got to go to the second layer. So a lot of the stuff at the top layer is almost done, which is fine. Uh, let's cut that. Let's cut this. How much do we have inside of our tank? So looking at the liquid, 400 times 416. Okay, let's do some quick math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's probably not enough because these are 300 each. So 3 times 7 is 21. 4 times 4 is 16. So I'm off by a little bit. It's probably fine though because I am going all the way to the back. We'll do it like that. And then it should be cold enough to actually just pump everything out. It's at 256. Great. And then we can pump out everything. Because we're not going to have enough to fill up the entire line. And then I do need to cut this. Oh, they did the bridge, but it took too long. Feels bad. Just remove then. Look at the gantries get done, man. Almost done, almost done. And I need to reduce population still. That is the thing. Still need to reduce population. The necessary evils. You know what they actually did pretty fast? I'm kind of impressed with. They did the power line pretty fast. This was made out of steel? Oh, no, no, that's the bunker doors. Never mind. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. We doing the purge tonight? That's the goal. That is the goal. Oh, that's right. I got to do this. So the automation tab is on the far left. Okay. So this is going to be here. We're going to go all the way out. To here and then we gotta count so this is gonna be here to here this one stays closed so we cancel that and we gotta do a bridge so that's is fine so this is here side of the rocket perfect so this one, this one, and then we do this one. So it's one, two, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one, two, here. One, two, here. One, two. Okay, I've got to deconstruct this now. One, two, here. One, two, here. One, two, here. One, two, here. And then it's one, two. That one needs to connect. And then we deconstruct this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I see your electrolyzers real quick? Of course. All right, that's going to be the automation for opening the doors when we're leaving. Is there an overlay you need to see, Mr. Poeta Gardas? Let me know. Also, guys, if you guys want to check something out that you guys are curious about, that you guys don't know if I have in my base, just ask. And I could probably help you guys out with some designs or methods if you guys have any questions with that. Whether it is infinite liquid pressure, a spawn design, petrol boiler, or even, you know, a volcano tamer. If you guys have the questions, man, just ask. I'll be happy to help. If you guys are scared, that is. I'm a nice guy, man. Don't worry. Can I see your ore scrubber? Oh yeah, that got patched out, Speedy V. I'm sorry, dude. I'm playing with a two legit city patch that takes out the ore scrubber. Sorry about that, man. I just started playing this game and it doesn't even seem like we are playing the same game. Yes. Uh, G Vibes. The best way to look at it is, have you ever seen Minecraft games and Minecraft speedruns? That is probably the best way I could compare it. Oh, okay, because it's like when you're when you're playing 
the speed run. You don't even make a base. You just grab what you need and you leave. And you try to get to the end, try to get to the neither, kill the dragon, beat the game, right? It's kind of the same. I'm doing a lot of the bare minimum stuff so that I could survive efficiently. That way I don't have to play the game in a, you know, in a struggling format. <laughs> but look at that. Yeah, yeah, Fluon brings a good point. Look at it that way. That you have a lot of room to grow, right? When it comes down to power management, you can see how my power wires, even though there's a lot of wires, we kind of make it look organized. Same thing with the gas pipes. Try to make sure all the gas coming in for oxygen filling up the base comes in in a neat and orderly manner. And then, of course, we have the liquid pipes in the same format, best as we can, with a liquid distribution. But yeah, if you have any questions, she vibes, anything that you're running into at your stage of the game that you need help with, I'd be happy to help. Just let me know. Did we pump everything out already? We did. Wow, that was fast. All right, cut the power. And then we got to put the gas vent back in. And we're adding it. Oh, I'm not doing it here. It should be fine, though. Copy. Paste. Paste. And we're back. That's a good part. Some space to grow. I feel you, man. Haha. -ha. Yo, man. I got you if you need if you need any questions. Man, my Duke Colony is on vacation right now. POE new league came out. Had to switch for a bit. I got you, Real Guitar. You're not the first person to mention that, so don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. As long as you're having fun. We did not go all the way. 275. We have one empty tank. I still don't understand how the things with pipes works, with heats, with liquid, ETC, waiting on new base to begin. I'm a noob at this game. Okay, I got you. The next next run we're playing, though, is going to be the Echo Rich Challenge. 50 dupes and 50 cycles. So I don't know if that's going to be considered normal gameplay status. Fair warning. <laughs> I have to say those are well-organized spaghetti right there compared to the ones I've uh, included mines. Yo, man. Hey, all I got to say is... I, I I took inspiration from how some of the people that have servers or organized wires for a server, I took inspiration from that. 100%. Especially this part. <laughs> I've seen people with servers, man. They do the wires like this. And it's like, it looks nice. Everything bends at the same corner, right? And then having the wires go straight up everywhere. And then these turn, these turn. And then because of the amount of wires turning, you have to adjust. And it looks clean. It looks clean. So I took inspiration from that for my uh, wiring, man. Now, if you want that, you could do it too. You just have to spend some time to reorganize the wires. I have to say, all right, most dupes uh, together I got were only 18. Only 18? I mean, that's fine. Everyone has their own sweet spot that they're comfortable with and play with. But uh, honestly, everything kind of scales with it. And I think that 18 dupes is great for the spaced out size. With the classic start, it might be a little bit less because you know have to do a lot more traveling. So you're going to have less people available to do the jumps. Well, with the spaced out start, 18 is pretty solid. Not going to lie. Divisible by 6. It's, it's not bad. It would be close to normal. You could show problems emerging fast and significant. I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess. But it's like you would have different things to tackle. Does power have a travel speed? No, it's instantaneous. No, no, no. It depends. It depends. Uh, the power in this game is limited by transformers for using it. But typically, you're not going to do like a transformer into another battery. You're typically going to have a battery system like this. Where you have your power not in battery or jewels form. You're going to have your power in resource form. Right? So you would typically want to hold your power in the resource. Because if you have power in a battery, there's something called runoff. Where power leaks every cycle. So because of that... You don't want to waste your power, so usually you keep it as a resource. And what you typically do is have your generators running constantly. So you're providing either enough power or a little bit more, and you control the automation with your smart battery, right? With the thresholds right here. After you do that, you have your transformers distributing the power from the heavy wire into a thinner wire. And then usually that's fine. There is only travel speed for electricity. If you're doing a transformer after a battery into another battery, if that makes sense. 
Now, it's weird how that works because typically you would have broken wires if that were the case. And sometimes you do, but it's it's weird. Basically, the transformer distributes power at a per tick rate instead of per second. And it's weird, but in the grand scheme of things, if you keep the powers of or the capacity of your wire relative to the transformer side, you're, you're fine. It's only if you use a wire that's heavier than what the transformer is able to provide that it has issues. Then again, that does make sense given the limits of the transformer. Other than that, you shouldn't run into anything with travel speed of power. It is almost in every case instantaneous outside of what I just described. What are the benefits for a heavy watt power spine versus a smaller spine uh, hub like yours? Decor. That's usually going to be the biggest thing. So heavy watt wires have a large decor penalty. Six tiles wide, minus 25 in that radius. So that's 12 tiles because it's two directions. Right? Six tile radius means you have a circle at the size of that. And then if you run that, right, it's pretty bad decor value. So this does, in a grand scheme of things, affect your dupes if you actually have that exposed. Because your dupes are going to see that it's going to lower all, uh, lower their overall area. Now, if you're able to hide the wire, that's what I would recommend, right? You could do something where it's like one of your floors gets sacrificed. And then that floor just has heavy watt wire running through it. And you don't allow your dupes to go inside. Because if you allow your dupes to go inside, they're going to see that they're core and they're going to be mad, right? So um, you could just do something like that. But for the most part, that core is the big thing. Another thing is cleanliness of the distribution of the power. Uh, everything in the grand scheme of things, though, is aesthetic in terms of benefits. So you can play the way you want if it gets the job done. And the only downside is going to be the core value. Right? That's, that's really it. Outside of that, there's nothing in terms of power. Like, you're not having a more efficient system. You're not having power loss, power gained, if that's what you're looking after. It's really just outside aesthetics. So in terms of this design, it just looks really good because of how I distribute the power with the wires and how these wires go through tiles versus having the heavy watt conductive wire pull out by itself and become a solo spine that feeds out and everything else. Now, that also means that you're going to have to run the heavy watt wire eventually through a transformer if you wanted to go through the tiles, right? Especially if you have door setups, because if you're thinking about doing something like this, and then using small wires attaching to that, this effectively does not work. And you're going to get a lot of broken wires if that's what you're trying to do. This effectively is a flawed logic. Just want to make sure you don't do this. This is one of the biggest problems new players run into. Let me just have a heavy wire and convert that into a 2000 wire that feeds into my aqua tuner. That way, this wire is only 2000 watts and it should make sense. No, it doesn't because that literally removes the purpose of a transformer in general. So this does not work. Instead, what you need to do is this. Either a heavy one or a small one. And then this feeds out into a regular wire or a conductive wire. This is good. This is good. The other one setup does not work. But that's the only thing when it comes to power. The differences. Uh, there's no pickup. Otherwise, it's all aesthetic. Hope that helps, Spencer. Let me know. And capacity is undefined tons of power in gas storage. Yep. There is there a setup I need to do for the infinite gas tanks? Just have water in the vent spot, right? The specific amount is actually what you need to pay attention to. So you can't just add water and then not think about it. There is a range you need to be in, and it depends. Uh, so if you're doing the... Oh, my cat just woke up. If you're doing the electrolyzer setup right here, you need to have 100 grams per tile. I'm sorry, 100 kilograms. 100 kg. Right? Well, with oil, you get away with less. But with f other liquids, you want 100 kilograms. And then uh, if you're not talking about this, and you're talking about the proper infinite gas storage. It's dependent on your vent uh, overpressure value. So if you're using a regular gas vent, your range is 50% um, of the overpressure to the max. So this is 1,000 to 2,000. Ideally, you want to be less than that. So 1,000 to 1,800. 
If you use a high pressure vent, which is a 20 kilogram overpressure, you can put as much as you want. This one, you can have anything under 20 kilograms and you should be fine. The only thing about this design is that you need minimum two vents. You need minimum two vents. Because if you have one vent in a design like this, and you make this your infinite gas box, this doesn't work. So when you have one vent here, there's no space for the liquid to move, and your box breaks. So you have to have a minimum second vent. Minimum, you need two. Ideally though, um, anything more than that is fine, but you can't have one. Oh, kitty cat, please. He just grabbed onto my sock and didn't let go. I see you, Mamba. I see you over there. Beautiful answer. Much thanks, as always. Gotcha, gotcha. Also do the opposite. Yep. Uh, that's set up there. Yep, yep, yep. Producer on conductive transformer main spin. Yep. In case you want to use wires that can pass through tiles. Yep, yep, yep. Copy and 100 kilogram each vent. No. For each vent, it's dependent on the vent values. You want to go into your vent, and depending on which one you select, this vent or that vent. All right, this is what I mean by vents. It's dependent on the limits of the vent. You want to be under, but more than 50%. Right? So right here, this is, you want 1,000 grams to 1,800 grams, because you want to be under the overpressure, but more than 50%. For the high pressure one, this value goes up to 20 kilograms. So instead of having... Uh, 1,000 grams to 1,800 grams, you have instead 10 kilograms to 18 kilograms, which is a much easier thing to bottle empty out into due to the amount of, that spills out from the bottle emptier. So it depends on which one you choose. So for the proper infinite storage here, it's dependent on the vent. Outside of that, if you're doing buildings, general rule, probably 100 kilograms per tile. Steam turbine goes up to 250. You go up to 300 though. Uh, liquid layers here. If you want to do a submerged steam turbine design for cooling, because I run my gold through this as it comes out, it comes out at 20 degrees. That way it's more compact, right? You don't need a cold box, cold box for this. Just cools itself. Aqua tuner cools itself. Oh no, trap dupes. They resolve themselves. Wait, dupes could do that? It's a fake trap. Sometimes I get a trap dupe, not because they're trapped, but because the dupes aren't updating fast enough. And what I mean by that is this guy is going to say that he's trapped in here, even though there's an open suit dock, and I don't know why. He, he's not trapped, it just flashes sometimes. Oh, I can't feed the meal wood because all of my dirt is inside of the, the box right here. That's actually fine. We let the Dracos die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's go back into the Liquid H2. The dupe who cried wolf constantly, man. I get that so often. It's such a pain. 300, 150. All right. So I'm not going to pump yet. We still got to wait. How are my gantries? No wolf here. Only pokey shot. Oh, the gantries are all done. Oh, okay. I need it. I need it. I need to work, guys. Give me one sec. I need to make sure everything here is great. All right. So, two forty. Right. These are one twenty watts each. Okay. So I need to basically distribute power for two thousand watts. So two forty, four eighty, and then two forty, four eighty. Ah. Uh, 720, 960. So it's one, one, two, three, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, and then I don't do this one because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? One, two, three, four five six seven eight okay so i do do this one so this goes here and then i need a signal switch here and then this controls these doors and then we have a separate one for the other ones yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so this one goes this one does not connect this one connects to here 
here. And then that's a separate line. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this goes here. And then I have to connect that there. Nice. Right. Hydrogen room has been emptied recently. It seems not enough to solidify hydrogen. Looks like it's easier setup. That's not bad. It's not bad. I think after full empty, it's actually what we need to do. And me solidifying it earlier on in the earlier part of the run was probably a bad decision. All right, so that's going to be how we open the doors. We already have power. We want to make it so that we don't damage the power line as we're opening the doors. That would suck if all the dupes are inside, right? And then we have to repair a wire in order to leave. <laughs> so that should be good. Now, I do want to continue a little bit of the fueling right now before we open up this rocket to build the other gantries because that's what I need to do right now. I think I just need to do it, though, realistically. All right, so deconstruct that. We're going to deconstruct these, and then we'll start the mining process. Hey, Double Dash Hound coming in with the Prime. Thank you so much. Using your Prime and using it on my channel. Appreciate it, man. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. Enjoy the Emote 20 Days ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub bad. But yo, thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it, man. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. And of course, hope you enjoy the oxygen not included. We do our best over here to include it ourselves, but, you know, sometimes dupes get close to suffocating. Feels bad, but that's just the name of the game. But yo, very much appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to set this up, and then we're going to mine this out. And we're probably going to need to do this. I could probably mine as much as I can just off of uh, the area. And then they go up top this way as well and come back down. It just randomly just said, Hey, Spencer coming in with the Prime. What the heck? All the Primes are coming in. I see you guys in chat, man. Appreciate you guys. Guys, if you guys don't know, Twitch Prime. This is something that's given to you if you have an Amazon account. So if you guys do have an Amazon account, you guys want to support your boy me, y'all hit that Twitch Prime subscribe. But of course, that's going to be at no additional cost to you. And if you guys don't use your Primes, Jeff Bezos picks up $5 off of the ground. And let me tell you something. He's rich enough that he doesn't need to pick up $5 off the ground anymore. So you guys should use it on your favorite streamer, whether it's me, whether it's Echo. Use it on somebody. Just make sure Jeff Bezos stop picking up money off the ground, dude. He doesn't need it. Either way, though, appreciate it. And of course, guys, it does not auto-renew. <laughs> That's how you know he really wants that $5. But guys, doesn't have to be me. Just make sure you guys use your Prime on somebody. Appreciate the support nonetheless, you guys. Spencer, welcome to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. All right, I do need to remove this because that's in the way. And then we can start stacking up these sightseeing modules. Come on, man. I just want to put the blueprint there. So everything is going to start vacuuming. A lot of the hot stuff falls to the ground, which kind of sucks for me because it warms up the pipes potentially. I don't really like that because that's going to hurt us. Here, 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 here. And then it's a command capsule. All right, let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I built too many. I built too many. Is that, is that a miscount? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I built too many. Oh, I didn't need this extra gantry. That's actually extra steel for me to pick up. So I do want to deconstruct this. Because that means I don't need to make as much steel. And I'm low on steel right now for the rest of these. All right, so on top of this, we get the command capsule. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so that's going to be the full-size rocket. Theoretically, this is 95 tiles tall. It's a pretty tall rocket, so we have to build, you know, below the abyssal light for that to really work. A lot of the hot stuff, though, feels bad. All right, so that's going to be one thing. You can see our steel is really low right now. We need to make more steel, bring this back up to 99. I forgot to turn this on, feels bad. Okay, so we'll work on this one once this is done. We'll mine out this and do the second one. No! Why did I open this? No! It's because it's a signal switch. Oh my god. Grand travesty, dude. 
Oh my god, when I built the switch, it's an automatic green signal. Alright, man, we gotta mine out this regolith. It's entombed! Oh my god. That's such a pain. I wonder if any dupes are stuck, if they have to repath for some of the things here. So the, it's not really that bad, it's just kind of a pain. not that bad. It's alright. This kind of sucks. Damn, now, next time we get a meteor shower, we're gonna get fresh regolith up top. It is what it is. Oh, this is done fast. What in the world's going on? Alright, we're mining this out as well. Alright, looks like we're mining this from both sides, and then we gotta trim everything out. Alright, so... Right now, we are going to do a fill. This is at 400. That's at 200 gas levels. Oh, this is at 5 kilograms. That's actually pretty sweet. So this is almost two rockets. We could probably fill this one up and then this one guaranteed. Oh, that autosave lag. It is deadly. There we go. So we can fill this one up, and then this one all the way. 900 kilograms, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then this one we'll do with the other tank. Okay. This sign needs more H2. Oh, I never resealed this up, so the oxygen's leaking out. Okay, so I do need to do this. I have... Dude, I'm about to crush 2,000 kilograms of uh, hydrogen. Feels bad, man. 3,000 kilograms of hydrogen just crushed. I hate to see it. Alright, lock the doors. Lock this one as well. Alright, once we build that, we'll seal this back up. Have the uh, ladders rebuilt. Man, maybe I should have people running the wheel. I have too much labor, though, for them to not work on. Mine out the Abyssal Light. Maybe mine out the single tile so that we connect the ladders right now. It's probably a good idea. Because it looks like the dupes are free now. That they have a lot of free time on their hands. Yeah, because this was done immediately. That's impressive. The speed of which that was done. So the right two rockets here are complete. Almost done with the third one. And then we just have eight more to go. I hear you, Mamba. My kitty cat's meowing at me. He wants his head rubs. Very sorry, you guys. Kitty cat needs the attention. All right, mine these two. Get that one. This goes here. Get another gantry. Not bad, not bad. Extra set of ladders not needed. That's actually pretty good. So we have 2, 4, 10 capsule. Alright, I really hope I did my calculations correctly. I would hate to be at the end of the game. Only to realize that I messed up. I hear you babies, you're alright, you're alright. Have you guys met Mamba? He's my kitty cat. He's adorable babies. 